Pin Gel Wireless Remote Control. It's from China. We're gonna hook it up, see what it does. Since this crane was totaled because of the marine environment it was in, I had to redo the whole thing. So what I did was I got one of these China boats, eight position, and I wired it in. But the dilemma was I had to be able to turn the electric over hydraulic pump on. So each time a uh, function is commanded, then it has to activate the solenoid on the control valve as well as turn the pump on. So I wired in this relay box in order to make that happen. I still have to put this other bus in there. All right, this is the basic wiring for that receiver box in the crane. Uh, here's the relay, 85 is our ground, 86 is our signal wire, which would be a positive in this case. And then we have our constant power, 30. And when the relay's at rest, 30 and 87A are constant. And when the relay's activated, 30 and 87 are constant. So down here, when we activate boom up, then it'll provide power to the solenoid on the contr hydraulic control valve and then also click the relay here in the box which will send power to turn the solenoid on for the hydraulic pump. And in this setup, 85, the ground to the relays is uh, common to all of them and uh, 30 feed wire is common to all of them. But the way it keeps it from back feeding, when you activate this relay and it sends power, all the other five relays, they have power on that 87. But because they're not activated, it's just an open circuit right there, or it's just, it, it butts off right there, whatever you want to say. And that lets you eat, use six different individual functions, each one to turn the pump on without power coming back to, and all of them trying to work at the same time. So before I started building all this, I mocked up this box, the six relays, and I made a temporary harness and I tested it on the crane and it was operational as it should have been. So then I was able to find a sealed relay box and start wiring it in. Well, it didn't work the first time. Turns out the seal on this box is it's worthless. But I did turn it up and get the water drained and it came back on. I checked the power all the way to the fuse panel number one and number two is the ground. And then I poked around with that fuse and then I don't know at what point that something happened and the light came on. So it ain't really fixed, but at least we know what we're dealing with. But also, cheap remote. I made it modular so if we need another remote, it'll be easy to wire in. Just be new terminals only. Buck connectors I put in the whole rig are right there, and that's your fuse power supply to the uh, to the computer or to the receiver, I should say. And uh, and those are just uh, wires that uh, I needed them to run back the other way, so I butted them like that. And some of them are just wires that aren't used; they're just capped off. All right, so main power on. Gotta let the emergency stop button up. The remote clicks, the receiver clicks. And so we got boom up. Clicking two relays. But also, we have the uh, power on, which will be the brown wire. That should have power on it until I hit the kill switch. And you reconnect it. All right, kill switch is operating properly. Now we're gonna go to the uh, the boom up, which is gonna be the white wire cable two. And to the bus, because it's gotta turn the pump on. All right, boom down is going to be yellow for cable two. Yep. Yep. All right, then we got red is east. All 
I know we got bus because I can hear it clicking. I'm not gonna keep in it now. And then we got uh, Brown is West. All right, winch down, yellow number one. That only activates the relay in the re receiver because the winch is electric. So green is gonna be winch up. And then in the back, I have the uh, override button that turns the pump on and it'll have levers so you can park the boom in case of uh, remote failure or receiver failure. That is connected into the same bus that turns the pump on. Let's see how far we can get back from it. There's the Warren winch. It's completely electric. It's making a lot of noise. I don't see any lubrication points on it, but it may have to be replaced or broke down at some point. But you can see how bad corroded it is. I tried to take all these off and clean them, but the whole studs are spinning. I'm sure that'll have to be addressed at some point, but I didn't want to ruin it. If I'd have taken it, broke that stud off, then we'd have been rebuilding that motor or the winch.